hello and welcome to my channel this is ijoma with day if this is your first time stopping by i just packs made aka i just packs made today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this lovely dress i'm going to show you how i did this lace placement and this queen and neckline okay let's get straight to it now i'll be working with an ankara fabric of three yards this is a three yards ankara fabric and this is a one and a half yard of lace and then my lining first things first i went ahead to do my pattern now if you are new and you don't know my pattern drafting method for my basic bodies it is down on my channel please do well to check and also um if you're just also stopping by and you don't know how i do my sketch pattern too I have a video on my channel so but this i'm going to be doing a a bustier pattern here so i first of all went ahead to take my chest line that is where my queen and neckline will start from and where my bustier too will start from and after doing that i went ahead to take my nipple distance divided by two and after doing that i marked the line all the way up to the chest line where i'll be connecting my uh, my queen and shoulders or sleeves okay so then i went ahead i took one inch on both sides of my bustier and then after that is done after that is done i connected all the way up to my under bust so from my waist to my under bust and then i connected with my cuff ruler to my bust point now this is the armpit line the chest line the bust point line the under bust and then the waistline then up on my chest line i went with one one inch on both sides okay for the center front corner i came in by half an inch and then for the side i came in by one inch but you can do one inch on both sides it will still work very fine okay now our front bodies which is almost set so i went ahead to add back all the that that i took out so since i used one one inch i went ahead to add back the one one inch which was a total of two inches back to the sides and then when that was done for the bust area we took out half an inch that which i also added back okay so i added all of this with their sewing allowance you can go ahead and add with the sewing allowance you can add up with the sewing allowance or with just the that you took out now for this queen and i came in from my shoulder point by three inches and then i connected down to where my dart was taken out please look at it very well so i had like i was really trying so hard to make sure that this client's breast isn't showing and so i did not go too deep for this um bustier and then also most likely our advice if you're doing a queen and you want it to really sit so well please let the back be a normal body don't connect it like a strap but for me the fabric given to me was very little and my client was quite big so i wasn't able to work with the fabric she gave me to do a normal connection that's the normal shoulder connection all the way down but the queen and always comes out really better when you work with your normal back and your front having the queen anne effects okay but me i'll be working with my queen anne design too as well at the back i'm going to make it like more like a strap and it will have a connection so after doing that i went ahead to cut out my pattern from my pattern paper please don't forget to like don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to this channel it will mean a lot to me and if there are other ways you think i can improve on my sewing tutorial i would really appreciate your suggestion thank you so much so now i went ahead to cut out the pieces of my pattern papers and label them so as not to have it mixed up and if you notice i didn't do any sweetheart neckline or round neckline or deep neckline because it's going to be a straight neck yes it's going to be a straight neck my client did not want a princess or a sweetheart neckline so it's a straight neckline then i went ahead to cut the back and don't forget my snatch effect my slash and strap and um, slash and snatch effect so 
instead of going ahead to do my um taking in have an inch of my back which or one inch of my back which still works i just go ahead measure her their nip length so my client's nip length if it is 15 i go ahead and slash and create a dart on that line that is how i do my back snatching okay okay so i just went ahead to confirm that everything was in place my measurements were all in place and then the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to be transferring these patterns to the fabric okay so now this is my fabric first of all i'm going to go ahead and transfer my skirt pattern to my fabric now like i said earlier if you want to see a full tutorial on how to sew the down part of your dress which is your skirt you can go ahead click on my channel and you'll see other videos and one of which i did a skirt tutorial a detailed skirt tutorial okay so now i've already cut this pattern so i went ahead to just add out all my inches i went ahead to add the sewing allowances for the top and for the sides and for the bottom so that was what i basically did here and when i was done cutting the front i took the front the front piece and transferred the same thing to the back piece okay okay so yeah this is this is where i transferred to the back to cut out my back now i usually add um that on the back of my skirt so i added my that allowance to the back of my skirt then for the back of the upper bodies i went ahead to add my zip allowance and then my sewing allowance all around like so Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do let me know how I can make this video more, um, should I say, more easy to understand in case you are not understanding me or in case you feel like I'm not explaining well enough. Just let me know in the comment section so I can improve and I can do better. Thank you. So now after that is done i went ahead to cut okay i added all my allowances back to my front pattern and then i went ahead to cut everything all out okay now also notice that this fabric wasn't really enough for my client so i had to do a little joining in the center front which wasn't even obvious i mean if i do not tell you wouldn't you wouldn't even know that I did that so I went ahead to do a little join into the front area of my client's clothes just so that the material would be enough and so that we'll use the wrapper for every corner because I had to only improvise when it came to the strap and when it came to the sleeves but every other thing was the wrapper and I mean that was how beautiful it came out so if you look at this center front very well you would notice that it was joined here yeah, that's what I mean now when i was done i went ahead to place my shoulders that's my strap my queen Anne strap on a mikado silk fabric to cut out like i said the fabric wasn't enough so this was the only way we could work with this so i had to use this mikado silk fabric and then i cut out and then when i was done i also placed it on a lace fabric and cut out because the lace was part of the dress so it doesn't just look empty so in place you can either use a mikado silk you can use um, a bridal satin i actually had a mikado silk that's why i worked with it you can use a bridal satin you can use whatever just to cover up the lace and make it like give it weight okay so here i did the same thing for the front and for the back so i got the back strap i did the same for it and for the front strap too, I did the same thing exactly. So at this point i tried adjusting and adjusting so that i don't waste my lace and at the same time i don't cut the wrong thing so i kept adjusting my lace so that it will fit into this pattern very well and when i got the desired form i needed 
I went ahead to cut out cut it all out okay and now this is it this is me cutting it out okay so now we let us cut out that lace design so now I came down by three inches from my hip line and then I used my very curve came down you can come down either by 9 or 11 inches depends on how deep you want the sides to be and then i connected that shape so yeah this is what it looks like this is what the lacy part looked like okay so it's very easy so you just freestyle so i just use a sketch pattern and just derived the shape i was looking for okay and then you can still cut out maybe while cutting you can still deepen as you want like if you want it more deep you can easily do that so i went ahead to cut out this paper pattern so i could transfer it on my lace okay so after cutting it out i went ahead to fold my lace and then transfer the paper on top okay this is what it looks like i'll go ahead and just pin it all around remember that this is our pattern paper so be sure to add your two inches allowance or whatever inches allowance you added to your main fabric when transferring for me i added two inches to my skirt length so i was i did not forget to replace that same two inches on the lace because this lace is going to be laminated on your fabric so it has to take the same length as your fabric so i did not fail to add that so please do not fail to add it so now this is what it looks like yeah this is what it looks like okay you can see that shape that shape has formed okay this is what it looks like so after doing this after checking it out and i was sure that i was okay with it i went ahead to hem the upper part of this lace i used my iron to just press it down though when sewing it i was still press it as well then for your dress lamination you can do this method even on a lace on an ankara anything you want to just do um, a lamination i used this small hemming gum because this was what was available as of that time when i was working yeah so you can make do with whatever gum you have if it's a small hemming gum if it's a big one no problem it will still work very fine so when i did this i made sure to make sure i made sure my lace was well placed like it was properly placed on top the hemming gum and then i soaked a fabric in water to press it down please so that you don't burn your lace you don't burn your client's fabric because you want this hemming gum to stick to the lace so you need the iron to be very hot so i went ahead to press it all out i ironed iron iron and make sure that i made sure everywhere was properly sticked for this i made sure everywhere was properly sticked then after that i decided to sew so now this is the sewing part so from here i just went ahead to match that that front of the lace we hemmed i went ahead to just neatly sew it neatly press it down all around and when i was done i went ahead to fix my dart on the back of my skirts I fixed my dart on the back of my skirt and went ahead to shape the sides. So now if you used if you use one one inch allowance for shaping, you would sew in by one one inch allowance. Also, if you use one and a half inch allowance, you would sew in by one and a half inch allowance. So I went ahead to shape the sides of my skirt. Now this is what it looks like, okay? See what it looks like. It's actually fine, it's very, very beautiful. Then I went ahead to turn the lining as well. I did the same sewing on the skirts and on the lining part of the skirts. I went ahead to turn everything. Now I'm sewing my bustier. Now I usually start my stitch from my bustier from the down part. I, I just feel like it gives me that, um, it gives me this um, equalness. Is that the word? <laughs> so yeah, I went ahead to just sew from the stitch all the way up and then the best way to pad your bustier you can use your you can use a light interface first which is a cloth gum or a um a cloth gum a paper gum or a um 
hasty yes that's the word or uh, and hasty then you now double like for me i double pad my warden so i place my warden two times on each on each part of the breast so i double the warden so that it will have this thickness and this bust effect okay now i'm going ahead to sew my my front bodies as well and when that was done i went ahead to join the back to the front the back to the front remember that our back our back bodies has a dart so i went ahead to fix up the dart too so after fixing up the dart i went ahead to join the back to the front the back to the front now the only you won't see the sewing a bit the stitch of this because everything was in seams the only joining was in the waistline okay the only joining was in the waistline and in the sleeve the armpit point where we connected the sleeves yes so now on the back part of these bodies i actually interfaced it too i used a hemming gum on the back part so that it will have that thickness too all right now this is what our bustier looks like this is what everything looks like before the joining of everything i fixed up my dart and now i'm going to go ahead and join it up okay so here yeah, i'm going ahead to join my lining to my main fabric after shaping up everything i'll go ahead and join my lining as well so i can close it up to the front part now before i close it up remember that we cut out our sleeves or our strap or our queen and neck so I'm ha I'll have to first of all go ahead and turn our queen and neck, our strap, our queen and strap, whatever way you'd understand it. Yes. So I went ahead to sew it first, then I top stitched, then I also went ahead to iron. Now I did the same thing for every part, for both the front and the back. I did the same thing. So you just go ahead and do and do same thing for the front and for the back. please don't forget to subscribe to my channel do well to give a comment do well to share with any of your friends you know that will be interested in seeing how we made this dress don't forget to share with your people around now it's time to sew the sleeves i went ahead to measure her arm side and i had to be sure that the the arm the round armpit points i have on my sleeves or my cap height was matching her arm side so when that was when I was sure of it, I went ahead to join my sleeves. Now we are getting close to the end of this video. Now, before turning my upper bodies, I will go ahead and pin down my straps to my sides. That's to the four corners of my chest point. I'll go ahead and pin my straps all around. Remember I said that if you want a sweet queen and neck design, you can make the back a total complete back that is having your normal shoulder and your normal neck that's for the main basic bodies and then focusing only on the front to have that queen neck that queen and neckline okay it will give it to make your queen and neckline sit very well yes so that is an expo <laughs> so i went ahead to pin everything all down and then i went ahead to sew round with my lining So after sewing all around, I notched everywhere and then I top stitched. I notched everywhere, then I top stitched. Then when I was done, I just simply took it to the ironing table, ironed it out, and then I joined the upper bodies to the lower body. After joining the upper bodies to the lower bodies, what I did again was to join my shoulders together so remember you're going to join your shoulders together so after joining my shoulders together the next thing i did was to fix my zip 
and my sleeves and yeah this was me top stitching now i didn't do all of that i didn't show you all of that process because i believe we can do it and then this is what the final result looks like okay now this dress is giving 100 percent right here yeah, it really came out beautiful and it was neatly stitched thank you for watching bye see you on my next video